The integer knapsack problem, where you're not allowed to use duplicate instances of each item, is sometimes called the 0-1 knapsack problem, because for each item, you're allowed to use either 0 or 1 copies of it in the knapsack. My input, of course, is a set of n items, each of which has an integer size si and a value vi. And I'm also given a knapsack of capacity c, which I'm trying to fill with a subset of the items of maximum possible value. My dynamic programming subproblems will be the following. I'm going to let m of ij denote the optimal value I can obtain if I fill up exactly to capacity a knapsack of capacity j with just a subset of the items from 1 up to i. Now we could have also omitted this exactly here and also solved the problem, but I think it simplifies things just a little bit, so I'm going to keep that in the definition of mij. So since i can range from 1 up to n, and j can range from 1 up to c, I have a total of n times c subproblems. I can compute mij in terms of smaller subproblems by taking the maximum of two quantities, one of them, mi minus 1 j, denotes the optimal way of filling a capacity j knapsack without using the ith item, only using items from 1 up to i minus 1. And I take the maximum of this with m of i minus 1 j minus si plus vi. And this quantity represents the optimal way to fill up a knapsack of exactly capacity j such that I use the ith item, because in this case, I have to fill up a capacity J minus SI knapsack optimally using some subset of the first I minus 1 items. And then I can add in the ith item, in which case I get an additional VI value. After computing all of the MIJs, the optimal objective value is obtained by maximizing over all Js the value of M of N comma J. Because I don't know in the optimal solution, what amount of the capacity is going to be used up. The total running time of the algorithm is going to be order of n times c, because this is the number of subproblems I have to solve, and each one of them takes order one time to compute. Note that this is the same amount of running time as is required to solve the integer knapsack problem with duplicate items permitted. However, one of the main differences between the two problems is that this problem also takes on the order of n times c space if we want to reconstruct the actual set of items that went into our optimal solution. And by way of comparison, remember that with the variant which allowed duplicate instances of each item, we only needed to use order c space. Let's look at a matrix of all of the mij values computed by our algorithm. In order to compute some value mij, Remember that we take the maximum of m of i minus 1j, which is going to be the entry above mij in this table, and m of i minus 1j minus si, which is going to be an entry on the previous row, but somewhere to the left of mij. And to that entry, we have to add the value of the ith item. So in general, every value mij is just computable by looking at two values on the previous row of our table. And in fact, many people think of dynamic programming as just filling in a table containing optimal solutions to larger and larger subproblems. In this particular case, since the value of mij only depends on values of the previous row, we note that if we only are interested in the values of the mij's, then all we need to do is keep around the previous row, so we're going to be spending, in this case, only order C space. But then we'll only be able to come up with the value of the optimal solution, and we won't be able to actually reconstruct the items that went into the optimal solution. If we want to be able to compute the items in the optimal solution, then we need to keep the entire table around, thereby spending order NC space. And for each element in the table, we're going to keep a back pointer, to the previous element on the row above it from which its value is derived. And by following these back pointers in the standard fashion, one will be able to compute the items that went into the optimal solution. So here, as is typical with dynamic programming, we have a trade-off. 
where if we don't want to spend that much space, we can only recover the value of the optimal solution. But if we invest a little bit more space, then we can actually reconstruct the structure of the optimal solution. That being the items inside the optimal knapsack.